hello guys today we'll try to analyze the stock of crystal limited so now what does the company do company is into the business of ratings research risk and policy advisory services guys you might have seen somewhere that this company has been given a rating or b rating or there is a rating upgradation in this company so who gives them rating so companies like crystal icra are the companies which gives them rating they perform the overall research and they produces a whole report which are very insightful for the market and the investors and these companies continuously update the ratings of other companies so the market cap of crystal is around 20000 crores approx the current price of the stock is around 2743 rupees the pe ratio of the stock is around 52 when we compare it with the industry pe it is around 37 so yes pe ratio of the company is little more than the sector so company is quite premiumly valued the return on capital employed for the company is very impressive which is around 37% and even return on equity at 28% the book value of the company is around rupees 197 and if we see the last one year return it has generated 51% returns in the last one year one very impressive thing about the company is its debt to equity ratio which is zero so it means company is debt free now some of the key points about crystal is that 28% of their revenue comes from rating business but it contributes to 51% of their overall profits and remaining 65% of their revenue comes from research business and yes geographical revenue presently 41% of its revenue comes from north america followed by india around 28% and 23% from europe and remaining 8% from rest of the world also presently s&p global holds 67% stake in the company which is a very major group even if we go to the side of the crystal we can see here crystal and s&p global company also guys if you want to read about any stock or any industry you can just go to the website of crystal you can type here in the search bar for example i'll type the name of stock infosys so here you can read a short report published by them which consist of very insightful points and you can also have a look at the ratings given by them for seeing such videos guys you can like the video and subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the bell icon for being notified some of the positive points about the company as we already discussed that it is debt free and it has good return on equity ratio but company also has healthy dividend payout of 65% approx but stock is trading at a 13.92 times book value so pb ratio of the stock is quite more but also company hasn't given a good growth in sales over the past 5 years sales growth has been just 7.5% when we compare the company with its peers like icra and care ratings then we can see that pe ratio of the crystal is the highest but there is a reason for this because it is the market leader in this segment also when we see profits per quarter we can see the profits for crystal are much more than other companies even the return on capital employed percentage look at this difference crystal 37% and other companies are far below so looking at these metrics we can say that this much premium valuation is justified having a look at the quarterly results over the period of time we can see that sales of the company are increasing though in some quarters sales were less than the previous quarter but if we have a wider view we can see that yes there is growth in sales and even in operating profit when we look at the eps of the share we can see that EPS of the share has almost remained constant in the range of 12 to 15 in a quarterly basis but on a yearly basis we can clearly see the growth in EPS in 2009 it was around 22 then 28 31 42 and then 50 in 2018 so yes there is a growth in EPS which is a positive sign for the company and as well there is a growth in the dividend payout ratio crystal also has strong balance sheet any company which is debt free 
have very higher chance of having a strong balance sheet but here we can see a growth in total assets in every year and even the reserves of the company are improving every year these are very positive signs for the company if we look at the share holding pattern we can see that promoters holding is around 67 percent as of june 2021 fii have increased their share holding from the past and even the domestic institutions have slightly increased their holding public have slightly reduced their share holding as of june now let's have a look on the chart of crystal so guys this is the chart of crystal limited on a one day time frame now i can find one support for the stock at the level of 2500 it is also a psychological level but if we clearly see then we can see a complex head and shoulder pattern forming here and it is also facing a resistance at this level we can say the level of 2880 so i think if someone wants to make a fresh entry in this stock then they should wait for the stock to come at this support of 2500 so we have to wait and see whether the stock completes the pattern if it completes the pattern we can wait for the strong reversal sign to enter in this stock but if someone is already invested i think they can continue being invested but if they want to exit in this stock then they can place an sl at the level of 2400 personally i don't feel that you should exit from this stock unless it goes below the level of 2400 so guys this was all from this video if you found the content helpful then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this youtube channel thank you